So even though tape technology is more than 60 years old, it's very relevant today for one main reason, big data. Currently, the rate of data creation is exploding, with the total amount of data in the world more than doubling every two years, while at the same time, the aerial density of scaling of disk systems has fallen to less than 10% a year. So there's a big divergence between the rate at which we're creating data and our ability to cost-effectively store it. Fortunately, tape systems are ideally suited to these kinds of archival storage applications because they're very reliable with media lifetimes of 30 or more years compared to less than five years for a hard disk system. The technology is very secure with built-in encryption and probably the most important advantage of tape systems is, is cost. The total cost of ownership for an archival tape-based system is more than 10 times less than that of a disk system. Our new record of 85.9 gigabits per square inch aerial density on low-cost particulate media was really enabled by four critical technologies. The first of these is a new barium ferrite media technology developed by Fujifilm in collaboration with IBM. Secondly, we developed a new rider technology that really enables us to take full advantage of that new media technology. Third, we developed new signal processing technology that enables us to really reliably detect the bits, even though we've shrunk the size of the bits by more than a factor of 40. Then finally, we developed new track following technologies that really enable us to control the position of the head on the tape down to the nanometer scale. And this allows us to shrink the size of the written tracks down to 200 nanometers or less. Tape technology is here to stay. If we look at the most recent International Storage Industry Consortium roadmap, what our demonstration shows is that tape technology can continue to scale at historical rates of doubling capacity of cartridges every two years for at least the next 10 years.